reading about food ingredients on the web. It's one of the worst things you can do if you want the facts. I'm Dr. Brian Watson from the Cornell Food and Brand Lab, and we want to look at what is it that causes some people to have these terrible ingredient food fears. Now, we've seen this for forever, okay? At one point, you know, sodium was a big enemy, and people freaked out if sodium was in, in a product. Then it was fat, then it was sugar, then it was high uh, fructose corn syrup, then it was MSG, then it was even lean, finely textured beef. What is it that causes people to really get excited and really concerned about things for a brief period of time? Well, we did a really cool study, and one of the things we found out is that people who get really bad ingredient food fears have three things in common. First of all, they tend to hate the foods the product's in, almost more than the product or ingredient itself, I mean, meaning they tend to hate you know, potato chips or candy or so soft drinks, almost more than the ingredient themselves. Second of all, what happens is they get most of their information right where Katie's getting it, from the internet. They look at their favorite websites. They don't get it from mainstream media and they certainly don't get it from healthcare pro professionals. Third thing they have in common is they are much more likely to need social approval. There's a sophisticated scale that's given that rates a person's need for social approval. And the people that have these fears tend to have a cluster of other beliefs along with the people they tend to hang out with like. But we also found there's an interesting solution to how people can get over food ingredient fears. And there's two ways. First of all, it's knowing how a certain ingredient is made or produced. And second of all, it's knowing its history. Okay? So if you want to kind of put things in perspective, don't just read your favorite internet blog. <laughs> Learn the science, the history, and then also the process of how these things are made. You'll be a much smarter, savvier consumer. Okay, good luck.